What's up, guys? E.B. McIntosh. Today, I'm going to go over a Twitter battle between four exceptionally great Twitter application or Twitter clients, as a lot of people refer them to, and see which one uh, I prefer, which one do you guys prefer, what you use them for, and which would best fit your usage for Twitter. All right, we're going to battle out four different tweet clients here. One of them is going to be Tweety, Bluebird, um, tweet deck and twirl if you haven't heard of these I'm gonna introduce you to these applications today and at the end of this video I have links to all of the um, applications and themes and add-ons to these um, great applications um, or Twitter clients for you guys to download and test out for yourself and of course if you feel free comment below and let me know your opinions on these Twitter clients and feel free to use a video response um, to do that alright we're gonna start with Tweety which is on the left side of my screen here Tweety is a very simple uh, it has a very simple UI or user interface. It's simple, it's sleek, and it's very user friendly. Um, it supports photos, it supports video, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, so that basically how you use Tweety is if you want to tweet, you're going to hit this new tweet button down here. It's going to pop up a little box here in the center of your screen. You have 140 characters, so it's just basic uh, limit for, tw uh, for Twitter. I can say, hey guys, if I can spell today, this is a test. Tweet with pick. Okay, from there I can go to this little um, button right here. I can press shorten, shorten URL, so it supports uh, shorten URLs if you would like to shorten URLs. I can add an image, um, or I can add a video, or I can even record a video. Okay, so if I want to shorten the URL, I can have um, my links here, um, and it'll sense my links, and then of course it'll uh, shorten them uh, right away. Uh, the two ways is to enter videos and photos is just drag them into the box and this is a very cool way to do this that, that only this one and TweetDeck um, supports so if I have a photo on my desktop I would like to drag in here to show you guys this cool wallpaper I can do that okay or I can press add image it'll open my finder I can do it that way as well alright same thing with videos if I would like a video file to share I can add a video file okay and it's fast, it's easy, and it's very simple to just tweet. It's that fast. Okay? Um, I've got the audio cut off for push notifications because it's really annoying what's going on in the video. So if you guys wonder what, what's, uh, what sound it makes, all of them make a sound when they send or, or when they're updated or refreshed, they all make different sounds, and those sounds can be edited through preferences. All right? Um, it's a very simple user interface. You have a, it's a column, single column style user interface. You're going to have your uh, regular replies. You're going to have your at replies, your direct messages, and then your search. Um, search is very handy. Um, I use it sometimes. I use the at replies. It's very easy and organized. Um, and personal, personal messages is very easy and organized here. You just click on the conversation, and you can go ahead and check out the conversation as they talked about previously. Okay. Um, when, when I say column style, I really enjoy Tweety because when you open it up, it kind of shifts, it stays in the same column, but it shifts over kind of like tabs as if you're in your Safari or your web browsing. So if I would like to um, go to David uh, David's tweet, I can click on his picture, and from there I can tweet, I can add reply, I can favorite, or I can ask for information about David's Twitter. Um, this is the only way, the only thing I don't like, you have to go into this extra step to do add replies or, or write replies uh, versus other applications, which I'll just show you guys, but it's simple. And of course, if you want to do that, you can just hit this little gear bar or you can hit uh, his ad replies and check those out. All right. The nice thing about the open source um, user interface on, tw on Tweety is that whenever you click on a link for a picture, it's not going to open the full website, wait for it to load, and then finally open it up. Is you just click on the link, for example, this one I've just uh, uploaded to Twitter, I can click on it, automatically brings up the picture, very simple and easy, um, and it's it, it looks very sleek. Okay, so it's instead of open up Safari or Firefox, whatever your de default web browser is, you can do it right here in the application. Very simple and fast. All right. The next Twitter application I'd like to review is Bluebird. Now, a lot of people have not heard about Bluebird. Um, I personally like Bluebird a lot. Um, some people have mixed reviews on it, and that's why I'm here to do this video today. Um, if I was to explain Bluebird in two easy words, it's one, it's customizable. It's very customizable to the, the interface, and two, it's sexy. Um, it looks sleek. It's it's very nice in the eyes. Um, and I'll show you how to use uh, Bluebird today. So as you see here, different between Tweety is if you want to do a tweet, um, then you can just do it in the bottom here and having a, a pop out uh, twi Twitter client or pop out text uh, editor, and then you can just send it right away. 
Um, the nice thing about uh, Bluebird is it automatically compresses uh, the majority of your um, links, so you don't have to press the link shortener button. Um, it does not support photos or videos. It's kind of a bummer, um, but it's very it's very customizable to the interface, and I'll show you guys that uh, today. Uh, if you go up to this gear box, you can hit preferences, and you can have several options. You can have general accounts, themes, and sounds. The two most important things I would like to uh, point out here is the themes and sounds that you can customize the other Twitter clients might not let you do. Under themes, there's there several dozens and dozens of things that you, themes that you can uh, upload and all you have to do is install them to uh, Bluebird by double clicking on it. It'll open up Bluebird, install the theme, and you automatically adjust your, your um, interface. So I've got this uh, bubble. All I do is click on it and as you see here, as it, as it switches over, it also switches all my tweets. Um, one thing that I really enjoy besides the uh, preferences is it has a iChat box. So if you're used to using a lot of iChat and you want all of your, uh, I guess, social networking um, applications to working and looking at the same, you can actually transfer it over. So if I double click on iChat, as you see here, it'll switch over all of my tweets and it'll, it'll look very similar to an iChat uh, chat room here. So very cool. Uh, my favorite would definitely have to be Refresh. And I'll, link, I'll leave a lot of links below if you guys want to check out these themes and for Bluebird as well. Um, something else I like about Bluebird is the sound set. And you can change your sounds uh, for new tweets, at replies, direct messages, and uh, when you post a tweet. So that's very cool. Um, and you can have several accounts on this as well. Um, like I said before, it does not support video or photo. But the themes do uh, make up for it because it looks great. So if you're not going to do a lot of video sh or uh, photo sharing, you're just going to tweet out like regular URLs. Um, and just some basic tweets on the go on your computer and this is definitely the client for you if you would like something a little more sleeker alright let's move on to the next Twitter application which is TweetDeck uh, TweetDeck is a monster guys and it's extremely bulky um, some people like it this is one of the first uh, Twitter, Twitter applications or um, open source Twitter clients that I actually used on my Mac because I didn't know about Tweety, uh, Bluebird or Twirl yet but shortly after I found out about those and um, I was kind of stuck with this one. It takes up a lot of room. It's bulky. Um, and if you guys want this, it basically takes up your whole page. Um, and you can narrow it down or you can have several columns. And you can use these columns. You can shift them around by hitting this button here. You can switch the columns. It's uh, easy to tweet. It supports pictures and videos. As you see here, I can um, record a video from my webcam or I can shoot one from my, um, from my regular camera and take a picture. So it does support pictures and videos. It also supports um, location, so you can hear your location. I don't really prefer that's kind of stalkerish, but if you guys are up to doing that, then that's it's whatever. Um, you can hit refresh, or you can hit Command R uh, to do a tweet. You hit the tweet button. You say "Hey world," and you tweet it out. So it's as simple as that. And uh, it's not working right now because I don't have my settings right, but uh, you guys get get it. Okay, all your tweets will be over here for all friends. Your mentions will be here, or at replies, and your direct messages is here. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if this is supports as a search, uh, or maybe you just have to add another column. I think, I think it does support a search. You just have to add a column. Um, maybe, yeah, it does. It does support that. You just have to add more columns and then switch over columns uh, in your landscape mode. So it's it's bulky, it's big. I would prefer this application to be on my iPad or on my iPhone as I do. Um, today I don't really recommend this applications for your Mac it's if you want something large it takes up a whole page if you use pages a lot on your computer this is the this is the application for you because it's large and in charge um, if you want something a little small and compact I would prefer the other three that I talked about in this uh, video okay last but not least um, is twirl I've only been using twirl for about two weeks now um, I like it it's simple it's very similar to Tweety and um, it's easy to use as you see, um, it, I can hit the top here, and I can go to my system preferences. Um, you can change your colors. It's kind of like themes in Bluebird. Um, you can change your colors, and they have several colors here. Um, but you can't really change like a picture behind it. It's more maybe mainly, mainly mainly I can't speak today. It's mainly just your colors of your text and your bar and uh, and the basic stuff. Um, and you can also add different accounts. Uh, the nice thing about Twirl is it's simple. If you would like to look at your at replies, you can do it there. Your personal message is there, and it's very simple and easy. If you want to tweet, um, you can hide that tweet bar. It's on the bottom. And again, just an example, hello world. 
and everybody's probably looking like, what the heck is this guy tweeting? It's going to load all of your new tweets at the top, um, very similar to, to, to a tweet deck on uh, Bluebird, it's going to load, load them on the bottom, and on Tweety, it's going to load them at the top. So the majority of them load at the top, Bluebird does load, load them at the bottom, so whatever you guys are used to looking at uh, is probably the bottom, I don't know, I prefer the bottom, and um, the top is just kind of funky for me. Um, let's see. Other things about uh, Tweety or Twirl that I like is the push notifications that also supports it in uh, in uh, TweetDeck. Um, whenever you're searching the web or whatever, you have a little bubble top, pop up in your right top corner or bottom corner, and you can change vary that to where it pops up in your personal settings. Very similar to this, and um, as you guys see on the screen for Twirl and for TweetDeck and it lets you know that you got a new tweet or um, a direct message, whatever like that. And if you hit the bubble, it goes right over to your application. So it's push notifications are nice. Um, sometimes they get annoying, but if you're into that thing, then, then it's nice, especially if you want to know like right when the tweet comes in. Um, it does it does support pictures through uh, TwitPic. It does not support video. Um, one thing do I like that I liked about uh, this one is that you can select it to the finder, uh, like Tweety, or you can uh, just drag and drop. Um, in Tweety, that gives you a variety um, of picture formats. You can do it through YFrog, you can do, do it through TwitPic, or you can do it through TwitGoo, or maybe it's Go, G-O-O, I think it's Goo. Um, and you can change whatever one uh, server you want it to upload to. So that's nice if you're if you want to stay within. I like I like TwitPic best. Um, it's easier, it's faster, and um, it it's uh, like I said before, it's just easier to use. Um, for the for the battle of it or the aspect of all of them uh, together, I, I like Twirl and I like Tweety best. I think that um, Bluebird looks sec the sexiest and it looks more pleasing than the eye. Um, user interface easier to use is definitely Tweety or Twirl. Um, Tweet Deck is very bulky. Um, it takes up your whole screen and it's best for an iPad or for an iPhone. Uh, just other things I might comment on between these applications is uh, the the way you reply. Um, different each uh, client has different ways you reply. On Twirl, all you do is you hover over the person's profile picture. You can add or reply personal message favorite um, or what is or retweet. Um, on TweetDeck, it does the same thing. You go over their profile picture, and um, on Bluebird, it's it's very simple. All you do is you go over to the right side here. And you have got um, retweet, you got at reply, and then personal message. So it's different arrows on there. And of course, if you can't at reply them or personal message them, uh, then it'll show up. So that's nice because sometimes you try to personal message somebody and they're not following you, and it it won't allow it. So that's nice. They tell you up front. And then on uh, Tweety, the way you do it is you're gonna click on their picture actually. So if I wanted to uh, tweet Chris, I click click Chris's profile picture, and then I go in here and I have to go to this gearbox. Or I can go um, and click add replies or whatever. So it's simple, it's easy. Um, I prefer if I was to give these guys ratings, I'd definitely give Tweety a four and a half out of five. Tweet Birds. Um, it supports video and it port supports uh, pictures. You can re you can record your video on the fly. You can drag pictures into the um, box and it has the easy expandable viewer for pictures. It's very nice and sleek and sexy. Um, Bluebird, I'm going to have to give just a regular four stars. It doesn't support pictures or videos. If you're just tweeting on the go, it's great for that. It's fast, it's easy to customize, and the themes are magnificent. That's the one thing that blows all the other applications out of the water. Um, if, Tweet, if Tweety had the open source themes, Tweety would be the best client out there. Um, it doesn't, though. And the uh, for TweetDeck, I would give probably give TweetDeck a four. It's bulky. Um, it does support video and um, and uh, supports your location. It also supports pictures. It supports shortening URLs, but it's just bulky. And again and again, I'm going to say it. It's best on the iPad um, and the iPhone. And the last application is Twirl. I'm going to give Twirl a um, four stars or tw four Twitter birds. Um, I don't think it looks as nice as other applications. You can change the colors. Um, so that's nice. It doesn't have themes, um, but the one thing that bugs me, it doesn't support video, and uh, very like uh, like Tweety, it does support video, and that's why I'm gonna give it for four and a half out of five. Tweet birds, if it did support themes or if they 
maybe in the future had themes, I think this application will be the best. So Tweety is number one in my book. Um, number two is definitely Twirl. Number three is Bluebird. And number four for your Mac is Tweet uh, Tweet Deck. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoy my opinion on these and how they work, the ins and outs of the applications. Hope you enjoyed uh, using other applications. Uh, comment below and let me know your favorite Twitter client and at Reply Us uh, for other tutorials on, uh, on your uh, Twitter clients and how they work. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace.